In this example, I have two things multiplied together. 3 times the square root of 2 times 5 times the square root of 8. Well, each of these consists of two things multiplied together, so I really have four things multiplied together, and I can rearrange them. I can write this as 3 times 5 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 8. And the 3 times 5 is just 15. And this square root of 2 times the square root of 8 can be written as the square root of 16. And the square root of 16 you recognize as being equal to 4. So this is just 15 times 4, which equals 60. Here I have the square root of 3 times the square root of 27 plus the square root of 3. So I have to distribute. The square root of 3 will get multiplied by the square root of 27, and it will get multiplied by the square root of 3. So let's write it like that. I have the square root of 3 times the square root of 27 plus the square root of 3 times the square root of 3. Well, 3 times 27, you might know, is 81. So this is just like saying the square root of 81. And here I have the square root of 3 squared, which is just uh, the square root of 9. Or the square root of 3 squared is just 3. And you recognize the square root of 81 is equal to 9. So this is 9 plus 3, which is 12.